we thought we'd make you guys some videos and give you some tips. And one of the things we get asked all the time, like in Australia, the reality is for an off-grid inverter, what are the choices? We actually really don't have many. So what we're going to do today, you know, we've got Nathan on the channel here. So we got Aiden. So both these boys are installers. So they've installed most of these products. Um, and they're going to give us some uh, feedback on these products. So going to give us the good, the bad, and the ugly and their opinions on these products and what they think about them. And at the end, if you're looking to do a really small little off-grid system, uh, we're going to show you one of our favorites. Um, all of us love this. I think it's actually our favorite product. And we're going to show you. We also stick around to the end. We're going to show you how to win a smaller version of one of these um, products. So cool. Well, let's get stuck into it, guys. I'll share my screen. We'll jump over here. Okay. So SMA, so we'll start with yourself, Nate. What is it that you like about SMA? Um, I do like the um, ease of programming. It seems like they've set up a good system for programming and um, yeah, it all seems pretty straightforward. So that's always a bonus. All right, cool. We've actually just lost the screen. Yeah. That's how great SMA is, eh? Oh, there we go. <laughs> It's about as reliable as its uh, Wi-Fi app. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We're back. They need a good green, gold, and yellow. <laughs> I mean, whatever our colors are for Australia. Cool. So, Aiden, what 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 are the things that you like about the SMA? It's a great built unit. It's a really high quality unit. Um, it is pretty easy to install uh, until you have to deal with the Wi-Fi. That's when it becomes a nightmare. Wi-Fi, yep. Yep, yep. Um, look, they actually, it's like quite a large inverter for the price you pay. It's a well-priced inverter. I don't know much more what to say, but it's pretty robust. Cool. So what is it you don't like about SMA? The bloody Wi-Fi. So you've got to connect to the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Wi-Fi disappears constantly. Okay, cool. <laughs> so the best Wi-Fi. So it's probably a unit that if you're going to get it installed, so if I'm a customer, you're still probably want to get it hardwired yeah, and spend that money. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, cool. Hardwired, Wi-Fi, you know, it all seems easy at the end of the day, but you're better off spending the money and getting any of these things hardwired because it's a nightmare. So 100%. cool. So Nathan, what, what, what don't you like about this? Um... I can't really fault it too much. Um, yeah, the experience I've had with the Wi-Fi doesn't seem to be an issue. Um, but yeah, for its price, I, I think it's I think it's a pretty good option. Um, it's definitely up there. Good, but ugly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I actually think aesthetically they are kind of bad to the eye. Um, I don't know. Bad for the eye. Yeah. <laughs> They, they do damage to my retinas, so I don't, yes. I don't. <laughs> Cool. Let's move on to the next one. Hey, Aiden, do you want to try, maybe change your microphone? Yeah, I certainly can do that. Because we can hardly hear you. Uh, really the Yeti. I think it should be on the Yeti already. How's that? Heaps better. There we go. Totally. All right, let's go. MPP. Okay, guys, the MPP, what do you think? This, this is a new one. Let's uh, just jump on the website today, an 8 kVA, 8 kilowatt inverter. So it looks the part, looks different. So I know we've got a few of these laying around the, the shop in different colours. <laughs> um, tell us what What was that? You just cut out there for a second. Tell us what is it. So, Nate, tell us what you like about these MPP solars. Um, well, I haven't had too much experience with them, really. Um, I think Aiden would probably have a better idea of what they're like. Yeah. I mean, they look like a grow lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're good on paper. They're good on paper. I haven't seen one perform yet. Um, what are they like in price? Have you seen the price, Mike? They're, they're, they're low cost. They're, they're you know... So, look, from the cheaper point of view, if you look at these, the thing that these MPP solars, they pretty much look the same. They look the same as a grow watt because they're pretty much all made in the same factory. Uh, Giant Power also as well. Giant Power have a really cheap one. And I, I think 
even though a lot of these are made in the same factory, um, like a lot of them are made on the same production line, like these MPP solars, the Grow Watts, the, you know, they use different components and something. Even though they look the same, a lot of the components side are not the same. And if, if I had to choose between the Giant Power and an MPP Solar, I'd be on the MPP Solar any day of the week. It's the uh, it's the best quality out of the cheaper inverters, in my opinion. Okay. So, cool. So yeah, so if you look at that giant inverter we've got out the back out there, um, the, if you look at a giant inverter and MPP, they're identical. Um, and what I've seen, and I've spoke to a lot of companies, that MPP are a lot better their, with their warranties than any other company on the market. That's cool. All right, so, well, yeah, I know you boys really have never, either of you ever installed one of these? No, I haven't, I haven't even seen one on an install page, so. Only um, pulled them off the walls, hey? Mm. Cool. All right, so let's talk about the next one we're going to talk about is Selectronics. So, Nath, tell us a little bit about the Selectronics inverters. And uh, let's go products here, <laughs> SP Pro Series. What's your thoughts on the Selectronics inverters? Um, I've heard good things about them. They seem like a real good, um, reliable inverter. And um, it's got that Australian made, made logo, so... Um, that can be pretty attractive to some people, having everything made in Australia. Um, yeah, well, 83%, I think, of the components are actually Australian made with the Selectronics. Mm. So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, so uh, actually a really, really good product, which is pretty cool. So, Aiden, give us your feedback. So what do you like about Selectronics and what do you dislike about them? Mate, Selectronics is the best quality inverter we're going to talk about today. They're the best built. Um, huge array of programmability you can make them do whatever you want it's awesome um, they work with the high voltages of nickel ion batteries you can you know you've got quite a low um, voltage cutoff so yeah working with a huge array of batteries um, they have really accurate data measurement and stuff the downside to them is really other than the fact that they're bloody pricey is their remote monitoring so their remote support is yeah it's no good <laughs> so if you want to do any um programming remotely there's not much available for you they've done a few updates recently so uh, they've, they've, they've been working on it <laughs> I, i've heard that but um i'm yet to see I'm yet to see results so we'll see but yeah they're a great quality unit yeah the electronics are they, they, they would be hands down in the world the best quality made product in the world and i suppose I talked to Selectronics, and this is a few years ago, about the monitoring and things like that and the changes and stuff to it. And I would say they were pretty arrogant about it. And they were just like, you know, we don't need to access it remotely because it's like once it's up, you never, ever touch it. And look, that's the reality we see. It's a good product. You've got good batteries and stuff. And there's something going on. You never need to change it. So from a customer point of view, it's fine. But, you know, in the olden days, you know, if you got a lead, lead acid sort of battery that fails... Uh, I know some people still use lead acids and you need to remove that battery. From an install point of view, you need to drive outside, reprogram the system to remove that battery so the customer's still got power where if they've got that remote access and the customer's got the skills just to remove that one battery and move it over one, we can log in remotely, we can quickly change the settings and bang, they're on, you know. And that's, um, yeah, for us, anything to remote has got to be distance, it's got to be online, it's got to be able to change settings and because things happen. Um, and also even troubleshooting, you can log in remotely and see what's going on. Uh, I know select ranks do have that. You just do require three degrees to make it happen. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really good, it's just, yeah, there's a, some stuff that lets them down. And that's pretty much all they do is inverters and in which, you know, I suppose if that's what you do, you're going to make the best quality. So um, I love a select product. It is one of those ones you put in the wall and um, as long as nothing else happens within the system, you'll never go back and touch it in a lifetime, um, which is very rare. So cool. All right, let's go on to the next one. So Victron. We're moving Ooh, on. Victron. So this is what mainly for us as a business, we mainly do the Victron. So we'll start with yourself, Aiden. Tell us about what you like about the Victrons, what you don't like with the Victron. I can do whatever I want with Victron. Any any application, Victron has the components to make it work, basically. I love it. Huge amount of programmability. They are a reliable unit. They're not quite the build quality of the Selectronics, but... They're a great quality unit. Um, 
yeah, and I love how all the products interact with each other um, with the monitoring program as well, the BRM online portal. So absolutely everything, I can make any change online as long as the internet is still on and connected to everything that I can on site. Uh, any software changes that is uh, yeah. beautiful products. Yeah, I think so with Victron, if you have a look here, you see like they're, they're for off grid, they're everything. They've got the inverter chargers, got the solar regulators, um, you know, all the monitoring platform, they do batteries, they do solar panels. They just do everything. I suppose for us as a business, it's good because you're not sort of buying apart from this bloke, apart from that bloke. And I think that's the biggest thing, yeah, for us is most problems we have is like this company says, well, you know, it's that company's fault, and that company says, well, no, it's their fault. And, you know, they don't want to talk to each other. So, <laughs> uh, so that's the biggest problems we had here is with um, settings between two different companies. We're using one set of batteries and a Victron or, you know, an SMA and a Victron. It's been the settings, yeah? Yep. Yep. The, the communications between two companies is, um, is not, not the funnest. So, cool. So, and what is it? So what about the Victron that you don't like, Aiden? I don't like. Yeah. Um... A lot. <laughs> so, some of the, the, the later products, the Multi Plus 2s, the Inverter RS, and all that gear, just you've got slightly weaker connections and stuff like that. Definitely made a, a cheaper product as much as it seems to still work just as reliable. Um, yeah. Uh, some of their newer stuff is not quite as robust as the older stuff, but I think that's. Probably the only fault I can put to it. Cool. Um, yeah. So, Nath, tell us what you love about the Victron. Um, yeah, Aiden covered that pretty well. Um, all the programming and remote access you can do, it's just really easy and simple. Um, I really like the aesthetics of it and the fact that they keep bringing out kind of new, um, new gear to work with their stuff. Like, it seems like within six months they brought out the servo and the smart shunt. It's all Bluetooth and... <clears throat> up to date and yeah the new high def screen is just awesome it, it's um yeah you can't really beat it in terms of just a regular customer who wants to be able to see everything on one screen just tap it like a normal high def tablet it's um yeah it's really good yeah and you're definitely getting um yeah everything from one company which is awesome and you know, even their new touch screen, the seven inch touch screen is pretty cool. Bigger, better screens, which is awesome. Yeah, from, from my point of view is for us as a business is, you know, they do do everything. They're really good with their warranties. Like we had a conversation this morning about warranties. Um, you know, warranties it does happen. And me and the boys are talking about warranties at the moment. We actually got one company at the moment that's just been, I won't say what they've been. <laughs> um, and it's not nice. I think a lot of customers don't really, um, what goes on in the back end with warranty claims and you know i've had a lot of customers be unhappy with me before but i wasn't the one in the factory that made the battery or that sort of stuff and you know half the time well i didn't install it the boys did <laughs> and, um yeah we, we deal with a lot in the back end with warranties and i suppose that's the thing i love about victron is victron they warrant their product if something goes wrong with the victron you'll have a new one within you know it actually used to be within 24 hours um, before COVID hit, they'd pretty much ship us something out straight away. But that's what I love about Victron. They'll just warrant their product and get it out there. With a lot of other manufacturers want to argue and fight and whinge and moan in the back end. And for us as a business, we've got to deal with that and try and handle that, keep the customer happy while trying to get it all sorted. And a lot of manufacturers just don't want to stick to their warranties, you know, which is um, not fun. You know, they, they say they'll do this, but then they do something else. So, yeah, yeah it's not fun. So, um, cool. I want to throw in and talk about, so, and in Australia, that's the thing. We really don't have that many options and uh, for off-grid inverters, really. I know Grow Water starting to do one at the moment. They're coming out with some some inverters. Um, they'll be on the cheaper end of the market. We've got one here as a demo, which we're going to do some testing and stuff on and see what it's like. Um, we don't really have that many choices. So the other one we want to talk about, if you're looking to get into you get a weekend or a DIY, or even you just want backup at home in town, we want to show you, this is actually, I think all of us could say this is probably our favorite inverter on the market, is these little deltas. So, nice. tell us what you love about the Delta. Um, I love the use of it for camping. Like, I love that idea that, you know, I can just whack one in my van, go wherever I want, 
and then bring my 70 inch TV, put it in my van and just plug it in and <laughs> watch the TV. Um, yeah, no, it's really, it's really got everything you need for camping, which, yeah, it's hard, it's hard to find something that um, is comparable to, to that. They're awesome. Well, you look, look at ours this week, you know, like uh, ours sits in here, it sits in our kitchen, it makes toast, it's made some bacon egg breakfast for this morning, it's made a couple of coffees. And then Aiden, what do you do with it in the middle of the day? I took it out to the site so I can charge my laptop while programming and building the solar system. So that's really handy. It's nothing worse than getting to the end of the solar system, opening your laptop and uh, it's dead flat. And then what else was it doing? It was running some fans or something? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I was using it to test the fans and a battery, battery cabinet as well. Yep. So this is an awesome little product, you know, like in Australia, they're two and a half grand for this EcoFlow Delta. We're actually giving away. So we're going to be launching this competition. So make sure if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and comment down below, we're actually going to be giving away one of these EcoFlow rivers in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. And there's some testing at the moment. I just love it, love them from a point of you can throw them in the truck, you can keep the fridge cold in the truck, You've got an 1800 watt inverter, you know, you can run a microwave, you can run a kettle. We've got an infrared grill out the back that we use to cook bacon and eggs and stuff in the mornings. They're pretty awesome. So I love these things. They're so versatile. And, uh, you know, for us, we had some time at home where the electrician had to turn all the power off and stuff in our house. And um, it was a rainy day. Kids wanted the iPad and internet. And we literally took it inside, plugged the internet into it and the TV. So the rest of the house was safe. We had two devices in it and just works. It's just so portable. So all the battery and stuff we turn off and just make life easy. So we love these. So cool. Well, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, anything you want to learn or know, make sure you comment down below. And stay tuned to learn how to win yourself an EcoFlow. So thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers.